doing some maths and we're going to be counting in fives. I said last week, didn't I? We know a whole lesson all about counting in fives, just like Jack Hartman in his yeah. video. Okay, so our learning question, how can I count in fives and recognise multiples of fives? That just means spot them. Just spot it? them. Yeah, absolutely. Brilliant. But first of all, let's get those brains in maths action, maths mode. So we'll practice first, counting forwards and backwards in tens from any, any number, number, not just at the end, not yeah. just 10, 20, 30, no, no, we're no. We're making it tricky, we're making it challenging. Definitely. But remember when we're counting in tens, the ones stay the same and it's the tens digit that yeah, is changing. That's changing. Oh, mm -hmm. okay then, let's Where are we start. Oh, let's both Thank have you. a... Oh, okay, I'm feeling... I'm thinking, let's start with 21. 21, okay. brilliant. That's my age, children. Ready? <laughs> so, 21, 31, 41, 51, 61, 61, 61 61, 61, 61, 61, 61, 61, 61, 61, 61, 61, 61, 61, 61, 61, 61, 21! Fantastic. Yes. Let's choose another word. What's this? Are we I choose? think I might go with this nice blue colour. Let's start with. I'm going to start right at the top. Oh, eight. Come on then. Eight. All the way down. Are you ready? Let's go. Eight. eight. 18. 18 28, 28. 38. 48. 58. 68. 78. 88. 98. 98. And back up again. I'm going to do ready? the dark blue. Are you ready? 98, 88, 78, 68, 58, 48, 38, 28, 18, 18 and 8. Fabulous. Should we do one more? And this time, if they want to challenge themselves at home, they can shut their eyes and not look at the 100 square. Yes, and Let's see if they can do, do it. Do it without looking at the 100 square. Fabulous. Where are you going to start? Ooh, I would like to start. Should we go backwards first? This yes, time? I think so. Yeah. Can we start at 96? 96. If Ready. you're going to challenge yourself, shut your eyes out. Remember, we're counting backwards. Ready? Ready? 96, 86, 86 76, 76, 66, 56, 46, 36, 36 16, and 6. Lovely. Okay, let's go back down there. Keep those so eyes closed if you want to challenge. So we'll start in on six, everybody. Six, 16, 26, 36, 46, 56, 66, 76, 86. 96. Wow. wow, done. I think we've got our brains all up there. Do you so think? Right. That's it. Let's go back to our slides then. Thank you, Miss Clayton. No problem. Right there. Today, it looks almost the same, doesn't it? Does. it? Because we're going to be using our 100 square again. Let Just me get a nice blank difference. 100 square up. Because we're going to be counting in fives. If you've got your 100 square in your pack at home, get it out now because you can do it along with us. Definitely. So we're going to count in fives. I'm going to keep it on the yellow. Are you ready? Let's count all the way from zero to 100 in fives. We can do it ready. Okay, so we haven't got zero there, but zero, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five, fifty, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. Brilliant. That was sick. They were doing lovely counting. What about? Let's go backwards. Yes. And then we're going to spot some patterns. Very good. And let's go for the pink then, shall we? Go backwards. We're starting at 100. You ready? 100. 100. 95, 90. 85, 80, 75, 70, 65, 60, 55, 50, 45, 40, 35, 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5. And it would be zero, wouldn't it? It's got a lovely rhythm, hasn't it? Can you spot anything, children? Have a look at our 100 square. Yeah. What do you notice about all of those multiples of five? Yeah. That's all the numbers that we say when we're counting in fives. What do you notice about those numbers? 
So I have a bit of thinking time. I'm feeling sad a little bit. Definitely. Right then, what did you spot, children, about all of those numbers? Yes. Tell us now, shout it out. Brilliant, lots of children are saying they end in a five. Yeah. So they've got a five as their ones number, or they've got a zero at the end, so they've got zero Definitely. as their ones. There's no ones at all. No. You're absolutely right. So when we're counting in fives, our multiples of fives always end either in a five, five. Or a zero. Brilliant. What else do you notice about these numbers though? What about if I just went straight down? 10, 20, 30, <gasps> 40. We know 50. that. They're we multiples do. of 10. Yes. So actually, these numbers here, 10, 20, 30, 40, the multiples of 10, yeah. are also yeah. multiples of 5. Definitely. So we've got 5 and 0 that either end in 5 or 0. Brilliant. Because five and ten have a lot in common, don't they? They do because five is halfway to ten. Yeah. Five by five is ten. It's double. Isn't it's it? double, isn't it? Yeah. Absolutely. Very good. Fantastic. Right okay. then, would you just come off of that screen for me, Miss Clayton? Thank you very much. And then I can show you your task. So, your task. You have got these number cards at home. You need to cut them all out and then put them in a pile. Then you need to sort them into two separate piles. Okay. One that is for multiples of five, so numbers that are in our fives when well, we're counting. What do you think we're gonna, they're going to end with? What will they end with? A zero or a five. Very good. And then another pile for numbers that aren't multiples of five. Okay, so you need to have all of the multiples of five together. Look carefully at what the numbers end in. What is the ones part of the number? Definitely. Once you've done that and you've got all of your num multiples of five together, you need to put them in order, mm -hmm. right from the smallest to the largest. So counting in fives. Do you think they're going to be able to do it, Miss Clayton? Oh, I think you are. Do you reckon? Definitely. Are you going to be able to do it? Oh, I can't wait to see. Very confident, mm. that's what we like. Confident then, learners. There's one more little job after that a reasoning question. Fabulous. Okay? And as you know, with our reasoning questions, I'm not just looking for the answer. No, that's too simple. Yeah, it's actually the most important bit, the bit that I really want to read is your reasoning and explanation. Yes. How did you find the answer? Tell us, tell us all about we it. We want to know, don't we? Yeah. Okay, so make sure you do the first task first of this one. Sort all your numbers and put them in order. Then your reasoning question. I know you're going to blow our socks Definitely. off. Definitely. See you later, you were. Bye.